Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw the first angle orthographic projection of the figure shown. First, we got to identify where our front view would be, followed by our plan, followed by our end elevation or end view. On your square grid paper, Start by dividing the page into four quadrants. Then divide. the fourth quadrant in half by drawing a 45 degree line. Your starting point should be about 10 mm from the horizontal and 10 mm from the vertical. This would be your starting point. Okay, We will start by drawing the 60 mm line at the base. that again followed by Oops. followed by the 10 mm vertical okay. and the 20 mm over here now you notice that I am avoiding the slope okay, because the slope is not uh, an isometric line in the original isometric diagram so it will not fall into the isometric grid lines. So I will avoid those lines first and fill in the lines that are clearly on the square grid paper. And once you've completed uh, all the lines, you can start to connect these two points onto the slope. The common mistake student common mistakes made by students is to measure the slope and actually draw it down you will find that you will not be able to get it right it will look odd okay. so let me just complete the rest of this front elevation once we are done label it as the front elevation Next, we will extend the horizontal projection lines. Don't forget this one. Followed by the vertical projection lines. Next, the starting point, this would be our plan view. The starting point again would be 10 mm from the horizontal and 10 mm from the vertical. Okay, we'll start at this point. Uh, remember that the plan elevation, the plan elevation would be what we see from the front elevation so as we rise from the front elevation and we look down at the plane that perspective from the front elevation 
will be how the plan view looks like. Back to our drawing. So again, from this starting point, we will find that this would be 20 mm. So be 20 mm line. 60 mm horizontal. You will find that your projection lines, these projection lines, will give you a sense, a guide on whether you are right or not. Okay. A correct first angle orthographic projection will you will find that they will all follow the guidelines. They will all follow the projection lines quite accurately. Again, you notice that I draw these two lines here, the slope last. Okay. No particular reason, but seems to be easier. Also, note that over here, the front for the front view, the front elevation for the slope looks like it's at, at an angle, but from the top, it's just a rectangle. Right? Don't forget to label your plan. Next, extend the project the horizontal projection lines for your plan elevation or plan view. Extend it to the forty five degree line and reflect it upwards. Again, your starting point for the end elevation. And elevation will be what you view from here. So you would expect an L shape, followed by a rectangle for the slope. So we have a starting point here. The vertical would be 10 plus 30, so therefore it would be. 40 mm, so we draw a vertical 40 mm line followed by a 20 mm horizontal, and we complete our L shape. Okay, you notice that again, I'm avoiding the slope by filling up the rest of the lines that are easier. Okay, so you notice that this is the height of the slope. So therefore, over here, this the vertical height of the slope would be 30 minus 10. So that would be 20. So I'll measure 20. And it should end off. The projection line here has hinted, has hinted you that it's here. And the common mistake that students will make is to draw this further up and close up here. It's not okay. Remember to label up, label your end elevation. Okay, for your scale, remember it is one, is two. And therefore, you don't need to put dimensions and indicate the first angle orthographic projection symbol. Okay, so long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash, which indicates the center line. Okay. And there you have it the first angle orthographic projection.